Well, I'm here today to talk about the insecurity of food and the way children are living in poverty. The Survey of London has found that there are 1.9 million people who are living in food insecurity in London. And 400,000 of those are children. They're not able to afford food that is healthy and affordable. The fact that young people can only thrive if they have access to really nutritious, really good quality food every single day. The fact that that's not the case in London and indeed the rest of the UK is absolutely appalling. We're here today to try and talk about what can be done about it, what we need central government to do in Westminster. We would ask them to consider the establishment of an independent children's food watchdog. We shouldn't have to do this. The fact that one in six children in London live in what we call food insecurity is absolutely shocking. I think that's morally outrageous. So we need um, the policy makers and the fresh string holders to step up. It definitely has an impact on children. If children arrive at school hungry, then that's going to have an impact for the children for the rest of the day, and that in turn has an impact on sort of their academic outcomes. So like when they go into class, they can't concentrate and stuff. And um, when the teachers ask them a question, they might get it wrong and be embarrassed. What does he say about us that there are those food banks in schools or that teachers are having to buy kids a meal? I think the government should raise more awareness about what's going on because it's been going on for God knows how many years and we're only starting to take a little bit of action now. I feel really shocked that even though London's the fifth richest economy in the world, there's still children and adults suffering from food poverty. And even things as simple as renaming free school meals. Some of the children have said it would make a real difference if we didn't call it free school meals. It somehow sounds like something you don't want to be on. We have such a range of people here today. So we have everybody from charities to local governments. We have lots of people who are campaigning on this issue. We have the children themselves. Young people do care about this and it is something that needs to be discussed with young people because they are the centre of the conversation. And I can take their messages to places but it's very powerful when you sit in a room with young people talking to a Minister of Education about why things need to change. For me it's so important to have young people involved in the conversation. That's what today's been about. I've, I've seen a lot of young people with their voices, with their opinions. At school sometimes um, I'll have to like share my food. They haven't got money on their card and even if they are hungry it's sort of shameful to ask. Well what we want to get down to today is some commitments for people to act. We'd like to put increasing pressure on the Department for Education to create a children's food watchdog. What we need in the UK is a commitment from the government to a children's right to food. So today we're calling for the government to introduce legally that right to food, but also to fund the initiatives needed to ensure that young people can access great quality food. And like I just want to be in a food environment which you know, the first thing you grab is a healthy product, a healthy choice, and that healthy and easy and cheap go hand in hand. Make sure that uh, food insecurity over the holidays, as well as in schools, are highlighted. So Kitchen Social is a London-wide response to holiday food insecurity. We fund grassroots organisations working in their communities to deliver holiday provision to young people. So we need an action plan for London. We need a children's right to food. We need some leadership around, around this, and I don't want to be holding this event year in, year out. I want to make sure that, that we get this situation sorted. Right to food!